What's going on guys, Cubologist here again today, and in this video I've got a rather large unboxing from the cubicle.us. I don't know if I can fit this whole box in the frame, and as you can see I've opened it up, but that's just because I didn't really know what was in here, so I wanted to make sure that it was what I thought it was. But now let's take a look at this and see what we've got. So as soon as I opened it I was excited to see this. This is a cubicle hoodie, oh you can see some other stuff in there. So yeah this was actually the cubicle hooded sweatshirt looks really good actually I like those new colors but yeah it has this cubicle logo on the front and on the back it just says the cubicle.us I think that's really cool it's really simple and I plan on wearing this to my next competition that's if it fits because you guys know I'm not the most petite person out there so we'll see if this fits but yeah big thanks to the cubicle for sending this it's pretty awesome so now let's take a look at what else is in this box so this is the rest of the stuff that was in the box. You just have to take my word for it because I didn't feel like showing that. But all from the cubicle, nice business card as usual. We have the new Maru Cushion Lube. Pretty excited to try this out. I don't know how different it is from the Maru Lube, but we will see. And this is the new Maru XD Cube, the 3x3. It's a new 3x3 from them. I haven't heard really great things about it, but we will see. I always like the colors on Maru boxes. But anyway, and then this is the most exciting for me. This is the Cubicle Premium O-Long version 2. I really like that C. It looks pretty cool. Oh, they wrote Cubologist on there. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. So first off, I'm not going to be unboxing this. I will be talking about it in a review. But you guys see what that is. That's just some lube. But let's look at this cube. So here we are, right out of the box, feels like it wants to move, and it feels a little bit small. So yeah, maybe I'm a little bit sensitive, but it is smaller than 57, even with measuring the stickers. Now let's do some turns. Not too bad, it kind of feels rattly. If you guys, I know you can hear that. It's kind of like a loose, blocky cube. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Corner cutting leaves a little bit to be desired, but, you know, it still cuts really well. It just takes a lot of force. And then reverse. Very little. It locks up right there. So yeah, like I said, maybe that's a setup issue, but I'll definitely have to check that out. I think Maru actually uses some type of grass green. That's nice. But, yeah, I like all those shades. Anyway, this cube's fun. It'll be fun to set up with the cushion lube, so that's exciting, but I want to get into this premium cube. All right, so there was nothing in the box. It comes with my shades, which is amazing. It'll come with whatever shades you want, and that's my favorite part. I really like that logo. I really like different logos. As you guys know, I use Daniel Wanamaker's logo right now, which I'm pretty sure is some type of Pokemon, but that was after my time. Anyway, I really like it. I think it's pretty fun. But now I'm going to be comparing this cube to my broken in Olong version 2. They are the same puzzle, just set up a little bit differently, and this one has tons more solves on it. So I've got to assume that this cube is going to be better. You know, they're just setting puzzles up. This is a service for people that either can't set their puzzles up or just don't like to. So this isn't, you know, going to be a godly cube when you get it. It's not going to be the best cube you've ever tried or anything but it is gonna be for people who can't or refuse to set their puzzles up, but still want a good competition cube. So let's do some first turns. Wow, that actually So I don't mean to jump to conclusions here. This already feels probably 95% as good as my main with hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of solves on it. So, wow. It's already really smooth. Now I read on their site that they use super heavy lube on the core and then lighter lube on the pieces, but I don't really know how they're lubing the pieces. But this is amazing. I can't see it changing too much either. This might be main material because it is the cube that I like right now, so definitely something to check out. That's amazing. So yeah, all this stuff is fantastic. I'm excited with this cube, but it doesn't perform that well, although it hasn't been set up by these guys, which is 
this is still blowing my mind i'm super excited to break that in but i'm really excited for all this if you guys want to see any of this stuff or want to mess around with it i will have it at the competition next weekend at slow and steady so if you're going to be there if you want to check any of this out, just come up to me and ask me. Hopefully I'll be wearing this if it fits. If I'm not wearing it, you'll know why. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I really hope you did and you'll hear from me really soon, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.